look at the top of the dome, uh, there, is, there is a statue of freedom there. Actually, this one is the real Statue of Freedom because the one in New York City is called Statue of Liberty. This is, there is a little difference between liberty and freedom, but in Chinese, they are both so they're called uh, but there's a little difference okay uh, this statue was has stood at the top of the dome since 1863 it was designed and sculpted by American sculptor um, Thomas Crawford okay after Crawford died there was another sculptor named Buck Mills uh, he cast this statue but actually, uh, he cast this statue by sections, but actually it was not his idea. Uh, it was one of his enslaved laborers named Philip Ray, who found this great idea by casting this statue by five sections. So it was uh, made by that way. And uh, the, uh, it was mentioning that when the statue was completed, Philip Ray and other enslaved uh, laborers were set free. Okay. Uh, it was about 19.5 feet high, uh, um, well, about 6 meters, but from the, this far away, this far, you can see it's just a little bit small. So you, you don't know the details, but I can explain them to you. On her head, there was, there is a helmet uh, with a crest composed uh, of an eagle head and feathers. And the helmet is encircled with nine stars. Um, okay. Uh, and she's wearing uh, uh, gla glaciers and a classical dress. Uh, 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 and she is wrapped with a heavy, very heavy robe too. On her, okay. On her right hand, uh, her right hand is on the top of a sword. Uh, on her, her left hand was is holding. Uh, laurel rest of victory and a shield of United States with 13 strips. The action. Okay, the Statue of Freedom was hoisted to the place, the top of the dome, in the late of 1862. Well, at that time, when the last section of the statue, I mean her head and shoulders, were placed uh, on that, um, there was a salute of 35 guns, which represents 35 states at that time. Uh, that is the Statue of Freedom.